All right, I've got eight pallets here ready to load inside by hand because the door is not wide enough for a pallet jack. So it started to rain, which sucks because I still have three pallets to bring in. I'm out of breath. So here's four pallets of the Melissa and Doug toys. And then here's a pallet of lighting. This was part of the pallet too. One thing I need to figure out, this looks like crap, but when you open it, it looks, you can see how nice it is. I wanna figure out a way to hang them or hang one for display. And we'll say this is light number one. I want a stack of boxes where you can grab one from. So I would like to do. I'll have to figure out a way. I don't want to hang them all right on the ceiling. Maybe I'll hang a piece of grid wall or something up. But uh, yeah, that's where we're sitting right now. I've still got three left to go. I don't want to do this in the rain. Be nice if I could put them under this awning, but there's a step. I'm not going to pallet up that step. It would be even nicer if I could wheel them right into the building. Unfortunately, that's not an option. So the truck is due back today, but technically it's not due back until, uh, what, I think eight, seven or eight tomorrow morning. And the rain will stop at 3 a.m. So if I get up early enough, we can finish unloading. The other thing is driving that back to the warehouse and then back here, it's gonna cost me about 15 bucks in mileage. So I'm right by Penske. I might just bring it to Penske, leave it there, grab my car, and then I'll just keep the keys to the truck and I'll pick it up, you know, five, six o'clock tomorrow morning. It's not gonna take long to unload the rest of that, half an hour, 45 minutes, but I'll sit here for a few minutes and see if the rain lets up. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow, early, early, early in the morning. So the plan was to back this up where the pallet jack would just touch this lip, then I'd be able to wheel them under this awning problem is because the incline comes up here that pallet jack won't or that uh, lift gate won't go down all the way I can't use the lift gate at all I'm gonna see if the truck lifts sometimes they do so it was up all the way I was able to lower it I dropped it probably a good two feet maybe a foot so at least there's that so that means I'm gonna have to manually bring this product up to here and then manually bring it into the store so I had a bit of an issue I toss the box of these off the truck and a bunch of them from the impact, a bunch of them busted open. I just tried them, they're really good. These aren't popcorn. These are, at least I don't think they're, they don't taste like popcorn. They taste like chocolates almost, like a Nestle Crunch Bar or something. But uh, you can kind of get an idea of what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know if this is exactly how I'm gonna do it because I've got the dill peanuts that are in this size bag that are gonna go next to them. We'll see. Also, I'm loading this by hand sucks. I'm bringing them up to the end, getting off, and then hauling them inside. I've been using the hand truck a lot, but man, this would be a lot easier if I had some help. And I would have had help had I known I was gonna have to do it like this. Holy crap, I am exhausted. That looks like it's just about done raining. I got one pallet, just an empty pallet left. Truck's empty. I'm putting them here. I posted them for free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no one took any yet. I posted them on Facebook Marketplace for free. Maybe some will grab them. Otherwise, when I'm here with the trailer, probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll get them. So I'll show you what it looks like. A little bit of trash here. Store looks pretty full. I've got one, two, three, four stacks of the dill pickle peanuts. That's one that's open. I'll show you what it looks like. Right here. And then these are the next one, the honey mustard pretzel mix. I've got just two stacks. Then I've got all of this lighting. It goes all the way back there. And a little alleyway to get to the bathroom. All of this is the Melissa and Doug toys. And these stacks are bed sheets. I actually had Tim go through them because they weren't, um, I, I didn't want to bring a whole pallet of the same thing here. So I said, give me like 10 to 20 of each, each skew. So he dug through all the pallets for me, it took him maybe half an hour to do. Um, and then, up there's the popcorn. We've got this dark chocolate caramel and zesty buffalo. Then we get the spider ball, a whole bunch of these. I wanna say, I've got 44, and I wanna say I paid 180 or 220, something like that, 
for the whole palette. And there were like 1,400 of these little emoji tops that really aren't worth much. But um, these are 30 bucks on Amazon. So I'm gonna price them probably at 15, 17, somewhere in that range. 44 of them, make a healthy profit on those. And uh, I'll have all the tops that I'll probably sell in bulk. So that's it, I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna go get this truck dropped off. It's just down the road, two, three miles away. I'm gonna leave the pallet jack here and I'll come get it in the morning or not necessarily in the morning. At some point, I'll come get it when I have the trailer. Um, because as I mentioned, it takes like 15 bucks worth of miles. You pay for the per mile to get that dropped off. So like I said, I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm glad I was able to get it unloaded today because now I can sleep in if I want to tomorrow or just take it easy in the morning because I'm probably gonna be sore in the morning too. Had I known I would have to do it that way, I would have brought a team and I would have sat in a chair and supervised. These types of shipping envelopes are the bane of my existence and I hate them so very much. They always make a mess. I don't understand why people decide to use these, but they're awful. So I bought a computer and we're getting that set up now. I'm trying to get that all installed. I got the software, I played around with it for a little bit. We'll have a square register, which is gonna go here which will communicate with the software. Computer was new, 450 bucks, I think, from Office Depot. It, um, I typically buy from Best Buy, but they literally had one model of computer in stock um, in the store. So, yeah, I think it's because everyone's working from home, but it does have a solid state drive, which I love. Uh, I also started setting stuff up. We've got some of the toys here. Uh, smaller stuff and whatnot. We've got bed sheets over here. We've got more toys getting set up here. So we've got a solid start there. I think I put, I don't remember where we left off. If you saw this stuff set up, um, what else? That's pretty much it. I found this in uh, one of the boxes of toys. It was new, I, I put it together, but this will be perfect. It's tiered, so they're different heights. I've got a ton of these rugs that aren't in the package. So I'm just gonna roll them up, stretch wrap them, and put them in there. Beyond that, looks like we're ready for me to do stuff and things again. So that's what I'm doing. So that's what the price tag is supposed to look like. That's how it looks. That's a bit of a problem. So I'm starting to get the hang of this software here. Uh, let me show you what the labels look like. I figured out a way to do it. It's a lot of extra steps. I need to download it as a PDF and print it, but then it comes out. Otherwise, um, I have no idea. I'm, I have an onboarding call with them tomorrow, so we'll schedule, have it figured out then. Um, so we've got the consigner number, in this case it's me. Size, if it's on there, this item doesn't have a size, but uh, name, all of the whole shebang. We've got price, barcode, ready to go. I put it on those too. That's all I'm doing today. I am going to, I've got a few other back end things to do at the other warehouse or the warehouse. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, see if I can get over there before the rain starts. And um, that's basically it. I added all the vendors into the system. So that was nice. So I guess this video will span over the course of a couple of days. So I'm currently going through and pricing inventory and uh, you see anything weird about this? Anything at all? Well, yep, we've got Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Eeyore, the rest of the gang. But it says Mickey Mouse. I wonder what the back looks like. Yeah. So it was a misprint. They put the wrong one in there. Nonetheless, it's still Disney and people, will, someone will still buy this. This part is gonna get thrown away. But that's why the, the retail stores didn't want it. So I'm going through, I got all this stuff priced here. $2.99 each, and I paid maybe 50 cents each. I've got a whole bunch of them over there, so if I have to lower the price to move them, they should be good for a while. I made a point, I figured this stuff would be really hot around Christmas time, so I made a point only to buy the ones that are good until sometime next year. Uh, popcorn I've got listed at $3.99 each. Uh, I've got those at 15. Most items I'm listing at about half retail. 
Uh, the bedding is much less than half retail. I've got full sets of sheets for six and the, uh, the fitted sheets for four and the pillowcases at four. And then I'm going through this stuff. I figured this is probably the best way to display because a lot of this is one-off items. But if I found more of one, I'll put them face out or bigger items I'm putting face out like that. Uh, the plan is to have a decent amount of stuff back stocked, priced, and ready because if someone buys that doll bed, that leaves a big space on the shelf. So I want to fill that up quickly, especially right after we open. But I'm going through some of this I'm looking up. Like these are all 30 bucks new. So I'm pricing them half, 15. But the puzzles, I didn't even bother looking up. I'm pricing those kind of how I feel is best, $4.99 each. Same with some of this other stuff. Some of it I'm looking up, some of it I'm not. But the price tags are nice. It says what it is, what category it's in, uh, what, or no, that's the brand, the category, size if it's relevant, and then the consigner number. So like here it shows we've got stuff with sizes, uh, category and whatnot. So it, it's a pretty easy software to use, but um, it's got a whole bunch of bugs. It's a newer company. Oh. I was going to fix that, but I realized it's in there so it doesn't tip over. Uh, it's a newer company. It's got some bugs to work out, but overall, I'm happy with it. It's also only 50 bucks a month, whereas Consign Pro, which is the other one that I looked at, the main one that all the, a lot of the bigger consignment stores use, you can buy the software. It's like 1500 or 2000 or you can rent it for like 200 a month. Obviously, it would make more sense to buy it. But So everything that's on the shelves here is about one pallet here. Uh, those, these, the stuff that I'm pricing right now, and then this stuff all makes up about one pallet. Uh, four of those big boxes, which is one pallet, and then a couple of smaller ones, which were next to it on top of it. I was selling these pallets. There's also, in addition to that, this and this of open and loose stuff. I have buyers for those at $350 a pallet. Uh, for all the opened, damaged, loose stuff, things like that. Anyways, so all of that was from one unprocessed pallet, which I was selling for $550. i am I'm able to see, because I'm doing all this in one batch, when I'm done, what I will get for it if it all sells at the asking price. It's not going to have everything. It's just going to have what's on these shelves here. So the little stuff back here, uh, that's not going to be in this batch the use or the open loose stuff is going back to the warehouse and these stuff on this table is already done so that's a different batch but i have a feeling just what's here is going to be well over my 550 asking price of course i was selling a pallet to a reseller i'm selling these to the consumer so that's um oh one more thing so these bed sheets i mentioned when i first got them that i need to debrand them I don't need to debrand them. I just cannot advertise that I'm selling them online with the name. And uh, whoever I sell them to cannot sell them online. So I can't say I'm selling this brand of sheets by the palette. I have to say just bed sheets. But in a store setting like this, they're not going online. So I should be okay there. Um, my only concern is if someone comes in and buys these and tries to sell them on Amazon, I covered the, the barcodes with my price tags to try and discourage that. If any of you are local and watching and you want to buy these and try to sell them on Amazon, the brand will go after you and you very well could lose your Amazon account. So I don't recommend it, but um, hopefully they don't. Nobody comes and tries to put them online. I've got them priced high enough where I don't think it'll be worthwhile for an eBay seller because I think the brand sells them for like 20 bucks for the set for uh, obviously it varies from item to item but 20 bucks so if you were to match that on ebay 20 bucks you'll pay about 10 shipping i'm selling them for seven or maybe six i don't think a lot of people are going to be are going to be doing that but hopefully they don't end up online because otherwise i may stop selling them in the store um unless they're debranded i really don't want to debrand them that sucked so this area is open now We've got access to these shelves. So here's what I did. Um, I priced them all, price tags on all of them. Those three, I want to find a way to display. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do that. This one, I only have one, and I only have those two of those. So it's probably not worth displaying, and I might just print a good picture of what it looks like. And then in here, I've got the back stock and all of them. 
I believe it's 30, 15, or 15, no, 30, 7, 10, and then the two and the one I showed you before. And then we've got two stacks of the dill pickle peanuts or one stack of the honey mustard pretzel mix, which we have out already. One thing that I thought, I might get rid of these shelves and just stack them all up on the bottom shelf because they're not heavy and it would look a lot better than that. Um, and then I could probably get these, some of these on there as well. So it doesn't feel quite as cramped going into the bathroom. Granted, this will go back another two feet yet, but I think that's what I'm going to do. There, that looks much better. I can even get one more of each of those on there, maybe even two of that one. So the idea is the ones that are hanging from the ceiling on display will have a number. So you'll be able to see what it looks like and know which box to grab, just like in the big stores. Um... I just, I have no idea how I'm gonna display those yet because they're hanging and I don't wanna just hang them right into the drywall. I have to find studs, which is gonna limit where I can put it. And I wanna put a bunch of holes in the ceiling. So I'll still have to figure that out. But anyways, I think that looks better than having them on eat one on each shelf. And then it really opens up this area. So lighting is done, bed sheets are done. Although the extras I need to put in the back, all that's left are the toys for what's here. And then there's a lot more at the warehouse that I need to bring here yet. And we're running short on time. So my goal is to maybe have all the toys done today. And I'm only going to fit so much in that back storage room because the other one's pretty full. So I might need to haul some of it back with me. I do have the trailer with me. Uh, that way I could grab the pallet jack, which you saw in here earlier. Um, this crate, I don't remember where I picked it up, but I could probably, I use it to bring stuff here, but I figured, hey, maybe I can get five bucks for it. I also got some stuff in the mail today. A twin label printer because we've got three different sizes of labels. Small one inch by one inch, jewelry labels, and then that one will do the main labels. Got some more of these tags. And then I brought these from the warehouse for that car those carpets. All right, it is the end of the day. Internet and phone are hooked up. I don't have a phone here. So I have to get one plugged in there. Um, beyond that, not much has changed. Got more stuff over here. Uh, cleared out a decent amount of space. I've got a whole bunch of stuff here that is going to get priced tomorrow and on the shelf. Uh, these, I'm gonna have to, these, or one of those, it just doesn't have a box. I'm gonna sell them individually, but Probably gonna reinforce that with some tape so it doesn't fall apart. These, I'm not sure. It's just scotch tape holding them on. Um, I don't know if these are new or not. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell them because I feel like they'd be wrapped in plastic, but I might be wrong. Uh, what else? We found this thing, Victorian Dollhouse. This is heavy. I listed it for, or priced it at 60. It's 112 on Amazon right now. And then I found this too. I haven't gotten around to pricing it, but uh, this is uh, a piano. What else? I think that's about it. But we're making some space here. The goal, I'm gonna come in tomorrow, Saturday. And the goal is maybe halfway through the day having this all done. Priced on shelves. Oh, here's another one. I found a bunch of these mixer sets. Um, I seem to have a lot of these on the pallets. Almost every pallet that I've sold has had a couple on there. But these ones don't have any box, which I've seen in other ones. They're new, that's just missing the box. They're taped shut pretty well there, so stuff isn't gonna fall out. But I put six of them up there. I've got 11 boxed up to go in the back. What do I have these priced at? $11.99, so maybe I'll drop those down to like $9.99, $2 discount since there's no box. Um, Oh, and then I've got more of these dust sweep and mop sets. I think that's the older packaging, but it's this. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There were some little craft sets right here. I priced them at a buck forty-nine. Oh, I got some rugs in here. This thing looks great with these in there. There were some of these. They're missing the little accessories that go with it, but that's not a big deal. And then these are missing the packaging. I stretch wrapped them and then taped the accessories with them. That displays them really nice. 
Um, in fact, eventually when we're done with Melissa and Doug and sell out of everything, I might keep this display and maybe spray paint it uh, black or something or wrap some paper around it so it doesn't have the Melissa and Doug stuff on it because I feel like this would definitely come in handy to reuse. Um, or I can maybe even print my own decals to glue on there or something with the store branding. Uh, we got some money here for sale. If you want to pay with that, buy something, pay with that. Oh, I found these behind the counter. Bracelet kits. So I don't know what the deal is there. Also back here was this. I don't know if these are mine or not. What she would do is she would store stuff here if it was uh, someone bought it on Facebook Marketplace or something and they were picking it up. So I'm going to leave that there for now. Find out what she says about that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing else new. Oh, I got to get locks on those doors back there. Um, she never kept locks on them. I will, especially now that there's a lot more value. She didn't have much in there. I think she said it was just some Christmas decor and stuff for uh, seasonal, for around the holidays. This is starting to look really nice. It looks a lot like Goodwill, how the toys are loosely on there and whatnot. I was hoping it would look a little bit more like that the whole way, but not much you can really do about it. Got to go with what you got.